grew up on, on pornography as a, as a young kid, you know, like 13, 14 years old, and 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 I discovered new things about women through pornography. It was it was it was an educational experience, I would have to say. The most common characteristic or principle promoted by hardcore pornography is that women love to be raped. Rape. They enjoy it. They say no, but they mean yes. They say no, but if you'll force yourself, they will ultimately yield to you, and when they do, they will enjoy it, and they'll enjoy it so much that they'll finally uh, plead for more. Legally, he raped her, but she wanted to be raped. They want to be women, raped. women today, they, they just... They just give it up when they get drunk. They want to give alcohol. it up. They, they want, want to, to give pretend. it up. Do you think they someone likes it? Some women enjoy being they raped. Let me tell you about women. No, like women do not yeah. enjoy the no, being raped. No, not rape, rape but they want to be forced to They a, want their hair pulled on. They want to be, you know, they want to be They spanked. want, they want that front that they're raped, but they know they're not being raped because they, they want it. They know what they're doing. They know they what, know what they're, they're doing. Right. You're right. He's they know what These guys are absolutely right. That's why I want to I think pornography can, can desensitize viewers, for instance, to uh, women's pain. When you look at pornography, do you become less sensitive to women? Yeah, that's true. That's, that's a good point right there. You want to degrade them, man. Uh... That it's easy to become much less aware of what, if you're in a sexual relationship with a partner, what may be pleasurable or painful to her. Manhandle them, you know, like, come on, oh, come on, like that. If you have seen a pornographic world, in which the repeated violation of women not only is taken to be uh, sexually pleasurable for a man, but one of the things pornography does is it constructs these activities as pleasurable for women. What have you learned from looking at pornography? What have you learned about women? They're horny. <laughs> They're very horny. One of the interesting things about pornography is that everything that happens in pornography is depicted as being sexually satisfying to a woman. So with, if a woman is performing oral sex on a man, it's depicted as giving her sexual satisfaction. Women are almost orgasmic continuously through pornography. Whatever a man does to her, whatever she does to herself, whatever she does for a man, all of it creates sexual pleasure for women in pornography. That's the way the pornographic world works. Now, let me tell you this, women want it more than men. Yeah. Yeah. They don't show it more than men, they <laughs> want it more than men. And I think if you watch that repeatedly, it cultivates an attitude in which it's, I think, very easy to lose track of in a real-life sexual relationship with a real woman what that woman is feeling. Can pornography make you harsher yes. or less? It makes you very rough. It makes you very, very rough. It can thrust you out. It makes you... It can, I think, dull your sensitivity to the pain and the pleasure of a partner. Have you ever done anything just sort of over the top that when, when you were looking at it? Nah. <laughs> That's about forced, it. Forcefully? Huh? Forced? Did you force it? Did you force her to do it? Yes, I did. You can say that. Yeah. I think that what is true is that the pornography itself is so brutalizing and so desensitizing um, that once you are convinced, not just intellectually, but but in subconscious ways that you don't even know about, that a woman's wife life is not worth what your life is worth. Once you think that she's less valuable than you are as a human being, um, that is a, a, a key that opens a door to doing all kinds of things to her that you would never do to somebody that you thought was a human being. When I was 16 years old, I kidnapped a seven-year-old girl from a mall at Knife Point and uh, kidnapped her from the mall and sexually assaulted her on a mountain road outside of, uh, of town. Pornography played a big part in the attitude I had towards females, women, girls in general. They weren't human. They're there for men's gratification and they serve no other purpose in life. There's nothing human about them. I didn't know how to relate to women other than the ways I had seen men relate to them in, in movies and magazines. I had no social skills beyond that. I abducted the girl from the mall because she was smaller and I knew I could force her into doing what I wanted. Pornography erodes away anything moral about 
people. And what pornography does is it sexualizes violence against women. And when you sexualize violence against women, you render the violence invisible. Like with hardcore stuff on the internet, does it ever, does it ever, do you ever say, hey, that's violent? No, no, no not at all. No violent, no violence at all. And that's what pornography does really, really well, which is why you will sometimes have violent images and it's hard for men to see the violence because it is so highly sexualized. Some people say there's a lot of violence in pornography. Do you no, no. no, it's not. It depends because, on how you like it. It all depends on how you, if you like something violent, if it turns you on, then you like it. But if it's not you, then it's not you. Is that right. bad for men to be turned on to violence? No, it's not. No, no it's not. And it gets delivered and experienced in a sexual way. And that violence is therefore rendered invisible. In my experience, pornography conditioned many appetites in me that I didn't have. I don't, I don't believe that I had these appetites before they were fed and watered and, uh, by, by pornography. I, I think that it is the nature of pornography that it takes men from who they are to being somebody different, that it teaches them to feel pleasure in areas that they would not have explored on their own. It, has it turned you on to other types of sex? Definitely. Like, like what? More aggressive, a lot more aggressive. I don't think that it's true that you have to have a pre-existing uh, tendency um, to, to hurt women or to be sadistic. Sure, I'd, I'd fantasized about raping. You know, I'd, I'd seen a few, fr few uh, films with my friends, and they were pretty violent, violent acts in these films. And it, it, it got me sexually aroused to watch these acts, and the, the women were being beaten, uh, raped, tied up, raped, sodomized, and, and I found myself getting sexually aroused by that. Had I not seen that, them films, I don't know how I would be today. And when I went on to do a PhD in studying media and its effects, I began to see that all that was being said about media in terms of its effects and the way it's constructed our notions of reality could also be applied to pornography. And in fact, in a more powerful way, because you watch media and you masturbate to pornography. Pornography just, like, kind of satisfies a lot of male fantasies. And do you masturbate after you look at pornography? Hell yeah, if I'm watching pornography, it's usually for the purpose of masturbation. And so what happens is that pornography and the images in pornography, I think, get encoded into the ways that men think about themselves as male and as masculine. Every time I masturbate, whether I use pornography or not, it reinforces anything I might be thinking about at that time. If I'm thinking about an adult woman, then it helps me to objectify him. If I'm thinking about a kid, it not only helps me to objectify him, but it makes it all right for me to go out and molest children or rape women. This is the way many sexual deviations are created, through what we call masturbatory conditioning. To be honest, it has uh, opened me up for uh, a couple of more kinky areas as far as sex is concerned, uh, bondage, uh, anal sex, uh, you know, a little of the rougher sex, choking, slapping, you know, some of the stuff that you play around with, but that tends to get a little serious. You know, masturbation sort of opens that all the way up. As masturbating to either something that you see or the memory of something that you've seen before, which is very pornographic. And if this involves, for example, say a rape of a woman, and this has been very exciting and you retain it on your mind screen with the help of that epinephrine, that chemical there that locks it in, then it'd be very easy to keep recalling that and masturbating to that. And what you're doing in a sense is conditioning yourself into sexual illness that is having a sexual deviation or preference. When they're not masturbate, those images that I masturbate to is, is what, what determines what I'm gonna go out and do.